My name's Crust and I'm a DJ, a producer and a label boss. DJing at the moment for me is uh, mostly going to clubs around the world. Um, you know, they go through my agency and they book me and so I'll turn up to a venue maybe early on in the afternoon depending where it is test the venue, t play on the decks, get it ready, make sure everything's right for my performance, practice for about an hour there maybe, and then when the audience comes in, I go in and I play my set. Audiences can be anything from like 200 people to 20,000 people, 30,000 people. Yeah, it's really fun and it's, it's led me into the other areas of my, of my uh, life now, like making music, which I got into through DJing, and from that, running a record label, and then from that really starting a, a band. We have two keyboard players, a bass player, a drummer, and a vocalist. When there's a show to, to, to perform or there's a tour to perform, we, you, we need to be rehearsing at least two to three months before that show, depending on different people's time frame, different people's schedules. You need contracts for 99% of the people that you interact with in the, in the business. I have an agent that takes care of all my DJ bookings and so the contracts will go backwards and forwards between him and the venue, which is a standard practice. There are deposits that need to be paid to secure, prevent, to secure me as an artist to go to these places. Then there's a recording contract that you will, you will, you will into, you will, you'll get into um, for for your, whatever label that you're involved in, if you're if you're setting up your own label, as contracts you're going to have to get involved in between your distribution company and your publishing company and the artists that you work with. Generally, there's two types of music that I I pursue when I'm uh, in the studio or I'm making music. Um, the first type will be really the more experimental, avant-garde type of music where I'm really just trying to get at any type of creativity. The music that I'm involved in, Drum and Bass Jungle, which I've been involved in for now nearly 20 years, that was the emphasis of the music, you know, and then we were involved, I was involved in hip-hop before that. You have a track, say, six to seven minutes long, the intro's going to be interesting and then it builds up to the actual uh, start of the beat and start of the bass line and then, and then it moves to the middle section of the song and, and all the while it's a journey, you're taking people on a journey. There are a few different ways to market your music. Nowadays with the, with the, with the internet, your imagination is the only thing that limits you. Communication skills are everything. That's, that's the business. What I would suggest is that you learn as much about everything as possible. You know, you do not limit yourself to just learning a computer and you do not limit yourself to just learning the sampler and you don't limit yourself to learning how to mic up drums or bass players. You learn everything. You learn as much as possible.